Hi everyone, today we're going to be doing this page from the planner. This is the last week of September in the 2021 Johanna Basford planner and this is a picture from World of Flowers. I thought it'd be fun to have a go at the Derwent Chroma Flow pencils. I haven't used them loads, I was lucky to be gifted these but uh, from a lovely lady called Lynn and uh, I'm going to have a go. You can see I've been using them a fair bit actually already, some of them, some of the prettiest, my favourite colours. But I shall just open up the layers and uh, show you, move into the middle. Oh, hang on a minute. Let's have a quick reorganise. Push that up, have a zoom in a little bit and pick a flower. Now I'm not going to do every flower on this page, there are loads. I'm just going to talk you through ideas really, my thinking to start with. You know there's lots of different flowers on the page, I have zoomed in too far. Um, so we could potentially do each one a different shade of the same colour. So we could do them all orange or blue or red or whatever. We could do them all different colours. We could pair them up and do some of the same colours. I don't think there are any that are really similar. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick one. Yeah, I think probably just one and colour it and show you what I'm doing. And then I will potentially um, talk you through what I might do with the rest of the page. But I won't finish it on camera because there is a lot and there are very small details. So it's going to be quite slow work, I think. But that's okay. I don't mind a slow page. I've decided I'm going to choose this one here just because it's quite easy for me to get it into shot being at the top of the page. I'm going to zoom in. It's not too big either, so I can zoom way in and uh, it will fit. There we go. Now, colour-wise, we've got 24 here in the Chroma Flow. Those are the sort of browns and greens and blues. And on this other tray, we've got the sort of pretty uh, colours, I would say, with our purples and pinks and things. So I think I am going to choose... Hmm, have a look. Um, I quite like blue. I think I'm going to go for blue. We've got quite a few blues. I'm going to start with the darkest, which is the denim. Now, I'm going to start, I think, with these larger petals and then think about the centre after. Now, because this bit is overlapping, do you see? So, at the bottom of this petal might be more in shadow than the end. So, what I am going to do is press harder with my denim pencil near the bottom and then a bit less as I get towards the tip of the flower and that will look like there might be a bit of shadow down here compared to up here and we're just going to do that working along. Now I have seen pictures where people have done flower petals in different colours so maybe you know blue red blue red blue red that sort of thing. Now I wouldn't ever think myself about doing that because it doesn't look in quotes natural because I don't think there is a plant that looks like that but actually why do we have to always make them look real we can uh, this isn't a real plant and it looks they do all of these do look a little bit like chrysanthemums to me but uh, they're certainly you know they're all different they're not exactly like um, the real flower so you know be adventurous I have done a flower actually I can't grab the book to show you because it's mar it's been put away but um i have done it where i did each petal a different color and sort of a rainbow that was really good fun i i was actually inspired by someone else i can't remember who it's a bit naughty of me and it was a long old time ago but uh, that was a bit different and fun so there's another idea for you and when i first did this page in my copy of world of flowers i did something quite different as well Rather than um, colouring like this, I actually got some pink pastel and I did it all over the flowers on the whole page. Um, I think I stuck within the board, I can't remember. And then I just went over all the black lines with white and it just was really different and it was quick and lazy. I'm going to do these little petals in this same colour. I don't think I want to go lighter. My other blues, as I said, are lighter because there's shadow here. Yeah. So I'm going to do a similar thing if I can by pressing harder here and here and then reducing the pencil towards that tip. 
and hopefully that will uh, make it look like it's lower down so these are above those because if you look um, often um, at sort of landscapes and things when you're out and about just look into the distance sometimes things that are further away they don't always look darker but they can look more hazy and blurred and things like that so it's worth doing that when you're out and about i did find coloring made me extremely observant I'm just checking we've got nothing else going on around here when i was out and about so firstly because um johanna bassford's secret garden and enchanted forest were my sort of first two books when i got um secret garden enchanted forest was about to be released i think i was so observant of leaves it was like mad I looked at leaves in a completely different way, which was really nice. Okay, sorry, I'm trying to grab my next pencil. It's not wanting to play. So this is just the blue. You can see it's very much lighter. I'm going to do this centerpiece in this. Um, I'm going to... I was thinking of doing each bit separately and trying to incorporate shadow, but it's really small. I'm going to try. So I'm going to give this a sharpen and see what I can do. These do sharpen quite well. Still not as pointy. I'm not very daring to get it really, really pointy. I'm going to do this outside bit first. And I'm going to try and make the colour really intense. Because I want this to be our darkest bit. We do have a lighter blue as well, which we can play with if um, I think it's necessary. The very centre, I'm not going to do blue. I'm going to do something a little bit different. But we'll get there. Ooh. We'll get there later so i think on this page i'm quite tempted to do a limited color palette i don't think i'm going to do all blues because i've got the 24 set there's only a few blues in it i mean what i could do of course is use a different set so choose a different set of pencils and do blues on this one and then a different set of pencils for this one and this one so i could mix up the sets of pencils but I think um, I might instead do blues, purples and pinks. So still limit the colours. So we haven't got any reds, oranges and yellows. But um, keep it fairly um, limited. And I think for me, there are some people, in fact, someone sent me some pictures just um, yesterday, I think, or overnight. And they were beautiful. And they were all sorts of mixed up colours. And it just worked brilliantly. But when I mix up colours, it goes horribly wrong. It always looks like I've just, um, you know, grabbed a random crayon from the box and gone splodge splodge. It just always looks a bit muddly mess. But some people have this knack of just making it all work. So uh, if you have that knack, then my goodness, go bonkers and do all colours. But no, for me, <laughs> I just keep it to a few. And I can try and make it random by sort of not having the blues together, you know, putting a purple and a pink either side of the blue and things like that. It's not always possible. And sometimes it actually looks a little bit um, um, odd um, if you don't have any together. I'm not doing each individual one here. I'm just sort of doing a little bit and then I'm going to... Just wipe my eye and have a close look. Okay, a little bit darker around here. Yeah, I think that's okay. I don't know why I didn't do that before. It's actually bigger in the screen than it looks in real. Or it's a bit closer to my eye, I guess. So there's our blue bit, the centre. Now we haven't got any other flowers with centres, or a few. Like we've got that one. Um, many centres, but I've got an idea for the flower centre a little bit different. I'm going to do it in black. It's the black is number 23. It's very blunt. I should give it a sharpen and uh, I shall show you. Okay. And what I'm going to do with this, you could use a dark blue for this if you've got a darker blue than the one you used. I've already used my darkest blue because, of course, you might not be using your Chroma Flow pencils. And I know some people have only got a 12 set, not a 24. Cause I don't know if you can get a 12 in the UK, but no, you can in the US. So if you see what I've done, I've tried to make it darker around the edge and I'm beginning to lighten it towards the middle. I just want to try and get it lighter and lighter towards the top. 
and I'm hoping it might make it look like it's um, spherical. It's quite difficult to do in a small space. But I think I've just about got there like that. Actually, it looks more like it's dipped in, but it doesn't matter. That's, I'm leaving it there or I'm just going to make a hole in the paper. So you have to remember with these um, books that the paper is a little bit thinner than we might be used to in a colouring book. So we need to be careful. So there's my first flower. Now, hmm, I could do a second one for you, couldn't I? Because I think these types and this one is a little bit more complex. So if you bear with me, I just need to rearrange a few things so I can push it up into shot. Now for the centre, I would do the same thing. So with my black, just around here. Yes. ignore the fact that they're little separate pieces and bring it in and hopefully that looks a bit more symmetrical and probably black for these as well but for the flower I can hear a strange noise outside distracted me it's lucky you can't see me I'm like like a little um a little little critter you know head down coloring and suddenly my head pops up and i'm looking all around so i go for i'm not sure <laughs> looking all around what's that noise it's like um my husband when there's a delivery van around he's up and at the window he said he ordered something this morning actually he said he accidentally signed up to amazon prime because uh he clicked the wrong thing it's and he cancelled it straight away, but now he's got a free monthly trial. So he said, if you need anything, come quickly if I order it for you. So, okay. But uh, I've not gotten it in order much this month. I haven't looked at the bank balance. This is Violet. I think we're doing okay because we had a... Um, what I'm doing with this, darker in the centre, it's the same as the blue, and then lighter as we go up towards the tip of the petal but I want to make sure I really emphasize that by making it pretty dark down here and very little up there and then when you do a few more hopefully you can really see the effect yeah we had a nice um, check from our fit tariff which is in case you don't know we have solar panels and when we put them in, the government was paying you money to have them. So for every bit of energy we generate, we get some extra money from the government. Well, it doesn't come from the government. It comes from the um, energy companies. The government doesn't actually pay it. The energy companies have to. But um, the government put the scheme in place. Since, um, not that, a few years ago, they've stopped doing it completely and uh, less people are getting solar panels, but we were very lucky. We took a risk, so we didn't know how long the panels would last, whether the, um, you know, whether it was worth it, how much saving we would make. We had to invest money in them, but uh, it seems to be worthwhile. We've just about after, now I'm gonna go back through and darken these bits so that you can see the effect. Yeah, so, uh, We've just about made back what we paid for the solar panels, which is good. So anything now we make is profit, as it were. But uh, we, um, the there's an inverter which changes the current that the energy comes in off the solar panels to what we can use in our homes, and those apparently um, do break and they're quite expensive to replace. So. We need to be aware that we may have to pay for that at some point, but that's okay. I've always got some money squirreled away. Makes my husband laugh. He's like, oh, we need this, we need that. I'm like, oh, I've got some there and there. And uh, I hide it from him so he doesn't keep spending on Amazon. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I like to have some there just in case of emergency, you know. So I've just realised I've got no paper under this page. That um, that one there looks too pale, so I'm just going to get, <clears throat> excuse me, um, my black and just go over it a bit. Oh, that's better. I like that better. 
So that is the idea with the petals. Now with a, such a small detail, it's quite difficult to get it looking really, really effective as in three dimensional. But the more time you spend on it and the sharper your pencil, the better the effect will be. I'm not going to continue with this flower. It's going to be very boring for you. But I've decided for this one, I'm only going to use the one purple. I've got two in my set, so I will do some. Um, <clears throat> as I say, this was the violet. I've also got a lilac, which I will use. And I will also use this lovely... Um, magenta, magenta, oops, like that, and I have another pink which I will probably also use the blush pink, it is quite pale, but um, I will see how it all goes. So I'm going to just use those few colours and complete the page, obviously I will take a photo for you at the end so you can see what I've done. Background wise, let me just zoom out for you. We've got this sort of frame and we've got some background, but some of the flowers overlap, as you can see. So could colour in the frame inside or just the frame outside or this outside piece. I will probably, mm, I will probably use a nice green. Um, maybe um this one maybe this um foliage to do the green to do a background here and then maybe just a black in that line and leave the outside i think i'll do that but i can't promise we'll wait and see um at the at, at the end you can see whether it's green or not so we'll see but that's me that's my idea for the page have a as i say keep watching and you'll see how it's been finished so that's that's that. I hope that was useful for you and I gave you a few ideas and uh, and I it'd be nice to see some of your versions of this page um on social media. So thank you very much for watching and happy coloring.